Assassin's Creed, a good franchise. Assassin's Creed, a good franchise. I mean, you don't have to repeat it like you're casting a spell. <laughs> I am enjoying the game. Oh, hey, Broken Angel. Are there any other tunnels in the water? I must be careful. Pretty sure this is the one I went in earlier that just had a treasure chest. That is correct. Is there any other passageways from here? Muck luck, muck luck, muck luck, someone's in a sir to tell you red is bad. <laughs> Click these links. The incredible swimmer. Oh yeah. In full armor with two giant shields on his back. Shields double as fins. Unfortunately, I don't think he's using them as such. All right, close to giving up on this one. It's right there. If only I could just start digging. This is the. Yeah, this is where I was earlier. It looks like there's sunlight dropping in over there. It's inside that wall of spear things. Which I probably can't climb. I am surprised. I did not think it was gonna let me climb that. Ew, it's green water. Ah, it's Mountain Dew. Evacuation order. Cavete. All currently serving hidden ones are hereby ordered to vacate these premises. Should you wish to continue our great work, make your way to our bureau in Cologne. Cologne? You will be welcomed. Magister Vitvis. Operare in tenebris vitvilimini servius. 
Find the key to unlock the door. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I see a key on the other side of the door. Anything in the gross water? broke something. God, I can't see. The Mountain Dew stings my eyes. It's so rare to find walls in this game that you can't climb. This whole hallway is that. Oh, I can hop to that. Okay. mask. Let's see what it does. Nope, wait, that's cloak. Increase assassination damage when crouched undetected for 10 seconds. Bonus damage to headshots. 10 seconds to get a bonus? Ooh. The Magus Codex, page one. On a typical day of study and training, as a departure from our usual routine, Master Haycor welcomed a guest to our Alexandrian Bureau. A taut woman with a stoic expression, she seemed to be in the later years of her fifth decade. She entered the hall with feathered steps and sat at the head of the room in silence for quite some time as Master Haycor delivered a vague introduction of this unknown figure. Throughout his speech, the woman never once glanced upon him, but swept her eyes across the acolytes seated before her, among whom I counted myself. When at last Master Haycor stepped aside, the woman stood and opened with a blunt statement. If nothing is true, she said, this statement must also be false. A woman left her words hanging, the woman left her words hanging in the air. After a long and puzzled silence, a keen acolyte called Magus offered a reply. The creed itself is an irony. It suggests that the world cannot be broken into truths and falsehoods, facts and fictions. Yes, the woman replied. The, that, uh... The world merely is. It exists, and we are but a small part of its, of its wholeness. But to exist is to be true, no? A thing that exists is a thing we call a fact. To exist is to exist, the woman countered. Truths and facts are valuations, acts, not objects. Magus fell silent, and the woman continued. If everything is permitted, who gives the permission? Okay. Okay. Uh, I gotta say, I thought this... What is this? Th I thought that would be in here, too. Is that... A Wait, what is this? Journal of Magister Vitus. I wrote this final entry at night in the glow fading glow of a single oil lamp. It appears our work in Britannia has been cut short by forces far outside our control, but that is not quite true. In some ways, we are to blame, but... For years we have scratched at the pillars of empire, toppling one or two, and the foundation seemed too strong, and the weight of any one Caesar's ambition seemed too pressing. Dude! That gave me <laughs> But there's a limit to how many supports a building may lose before it topples to the ground. We might have been more careful, we might have been more selective, more cautious in our approach to liberty, but we have helped Brit free Britannia of all structure, and now the roof has collapsed. A dark age is coming, the burden now falls upon a future generation to bring back the light. How soon that will be, I cannot say, and I dare not hope. 
Uh-huh. I'm trying to interpret that. So are they saying they killed, like, too many corrupted officials and now there's no good ones left? Right there. It's right there. Aha! There we go. Okay, sweet. What is that? You know what? We've done enough. We, we've pillaged the heck out of London for quite some time now. Let's go talk to the love of our life. Our brother's wife. <laughs> Baron says, how's it going this morning? It's going good. It's going good. Got a bobble doing the unthinkable when going outside meeting up with friends. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. Return the order medallions to Hytham. Wait, that's the tattoo. Oh, what's going on here? Tove's tribute to Sven. Kind Sven, I will forever be thankful for your guidance and your care and hear your voice in my ears so I mark the skin of those uh, you so love. Your spirit lives in our work forever. See you in the next realm. A mushroom with fire circling out of it. Oh, this one I remember. Now, this, this one begins a long time ago at a desert open. The order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? Mm. Here. This marks fewer members of the Order. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my gratitude, I want you to have this... Fire strike? I expect there are yet more to claim. I have to go. Then go in peace. Uh, let's see. Abilities. Where's that at? It's poison strike. Oh, it's ranged and melee. Fire strike. Applies fire to your right hand melee weapon. Enemies that catch fire will suffer additional damage over time. Range fire strike. Set the tip of your arrow flame. Anything it hits will catch fire. I mean, that's, seems like a worse incendiary powder, like incendiary powder trap catches enemies on fire, but if it misses, it will make a trap on the ground. This one just catches enemies on fire. I mean, we could try it and see if it feels different. I don't know. Okay. Time ago at a desert oasis, far away, a place of Head on in here, talk to Ramby. Oh, we should do the feast thing while we're here too. My love. London is with us and cleansed of the order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. All right. Mm. I want to see the alliance map. It's 
So, power level 130, 250, 190. All right, well, I guess we're going here. Syropashar. has traveled to Shirupshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, king of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Cheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. Okay. Did they try to make the Viking look like good guys? Oh no, they're very they're very upfront with the fact that we're like looting, pillaging, and killing. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. But they're very much doing what they think is best for their town. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. Wrong way. Like, heck, all the building materials we've gotten for our town has not been from, like, chopping down a single tree. It's just been from stealing and killing, stealing from people and killing people. Like, we can't be bothered to chop down trees. We just rob other nearby places. Uh, what have you got for me today? Where is the little sh shop? Is that it? There she goes. I've got some new pieces. May I see you? Okay, sell trinkets. Yes, I can resell these. You should get that. Okay. I will see you later, friend. Don't be a stranger. Now, this, mm -hmm. this one begins. Long time ago, All right. Desert Oasis. And I'm gonna look at skills. I think I've got a bunch of skill points right now. 13. All right, what's useful? Dodging just before an attack lands slows down time. Backstab. Guided arrow. Assassin's Cantrip. Repost. Single hammer still intense rage. Near hit interruptions or near cellular special attack. Recharges every few seconds. It's not bad. The ability to parry missiles. Loot an enemy automatically after melee kill or stealth takedown. Don't I already have auto loot? Oh, adrenaline slot. I want that. Last chance healing. Okay. I'm going to go toward the adrenaline slot. There we go. All right. Okay, let's see what we got on the map now. Uh, raid power level 160, 160, 340, 160, 250, 190. Oh my gosh. Let's go see what those are. Get some treasure. Part of me wants to play some of the more recent Creed games, but the open world idea overwhelms me a bit. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, you can just tunnel vision the quest if you want to, but you can also run around and there's just a lot of stuff to find. Like, I'm definitely not 100%ing it, but I do enjoy getting, like, the treasures.
I should not be seen in this area. Ow. So I should not be seen here. Was a stealth kill, trust me. There's someone up there I missed. Nickel and got, and that wasn't even from a chest. Nice. Um, monkey should at least do the flighting on the map. Has been just got. I found. I've done all the flighting that I have found. I've done the flighting I have found. Yeah. And I haven't found all of it though. Eric's a thank you. Muckle Douglas about that'll be Reginald S by the fourth. This is Jazz of S levels the third one because you are back to the lab. We join our saint entertainment on the way, crank at the speakers, don't touch your speakers, giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. Welcome. Uh note of a giving soul. A dead man spoke to me, poor fellow. He looked like he died rough. Said a few coins would help him on his way to the afterlife. We found that guy. He was a scam artist. He frightened me worse than a lightning storm. I gave him all I had. I must ask a priest if I'm cursed. Brigandine Helm. Increase armor when surrounded by two or more enemies and additional increase to melee damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ivor, calm down. I gotta say, I didn't think he was gonna be able to climb it with that maneuver, but I was wrong. Okay, we got all of that.
This guy doesn't know. This is, this is like the front door guard, and we went past him and killed the whole camp. He doesn't even know. Hmm. Wait, what? Uh, doesn't help they, the, the whole, both genders are canon and here's how that they pull in both games. Oh, you're talking about when you choose male or female Ivor at the beginning? Female Ivor and Cassandra are the canon options, but it gets explained later on in the game. Cassandra's from Odyssey, I'm guessing, looking at this conversation. Okay. The protagonist of Odyssey. I'm curious, if you play female Ivor, are the love interests the same? Like, can you still woo your brother's wife? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's funny. Interesting. The light bow appears to, like, I don't know, drain their stamina or something and knock them down? Whoa! I'm lagging really bad suddenly. Apparently that happens at Valhalla too. Bayorn! You mad lad, thank you. Muggler Douglas, but that'll be Reginald Esquire the fourth. Those are Johnson Vance, the door. Welcomes you! Shachi is? Say the Dark Valkyrie and Bronx Steady Vass one and only Brains Math Tutor Lord FRS Mr. Zatasimo. I can't read that one and so back to the lamp. Hope you enjoy your same entertainment is on the way. Crack at the speakers, don't touch the speakers, giveaways everywhere. Please take a seat but you're lonely near the edge. Thank you, Bjorn, for your very generous contributions. Mm. drop this late Christmas gift. I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. Keeping me fed. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at that. Like, it knocked him down. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. 